the bharata tribe called their homeland the original homeland the sapta sindhu this was the the and contrary to popular belief the sapta sindhu is not the five uh, 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 rivers of punjab plus saraswati um, and, and sindhu that is not the sapta sindhu the sapta sindhu relates to and i have written about this in my book land of seven rivers it relates purely to all the small little rivers that flow into the saraswati river in fact made up the saraswati so that's why it related to a very very small area but the bharatas called their land sapta sindhu and this idea of sapta sindhu was what other countries began to call it so if you read the avesta which was the iranian uh, uh, text from roughly the same time they mention the sapta sindhu in there except they changed the pronunciation to hapta hindu and that is the word where hindu comes it is a mispronunciation of the word it's sindhu and hapta hindu then becomes the word by which the people in the middle east begin to know the indians but notice that the word sapta sindhu was a geographical term used by the bharatas to describe themselves so eventually what happened as the idea of indic civilization grew the idea of sapta sindhu also grew so that is why you have in fact a chant <coughs> in much later times from puranic times which is still used quite widely which is used by the way by many people in western india particularly when they are bathing and they chant out seven rivers but then those seven rivers have changed from this tiny number of rivers in and around haryana to include later the ganga the godavari the krishna the narmada and so on so th- so what you can see is just like the civilizational idea is spreading new geographical ideas also spreading